Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. First off, I'm really really sorry about my neighbor's music. If you guys can hear it, I really do apologize. It's actually 11.30 at night right now and I'm not too sure why their music is still loud. But anyways, uh, today I'm gonna be filming my uh, current favorites video. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so it's been forever since I filmed this type of video. I think it's been since last the end of last year or the beginning of this year. So yeah, I have quite a few things to show you. Not that much, but my most favorite, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start with skincare. Uh, I guess we're gonna start with how I do my, uh, how I remove my makeup. I have been loving this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the uh, pink top. So as you can see, I almost, uh, I'm almost done with it. Um, it's for all skin type, even sensitive skin, it says. No alcohol, no oil, no fragrance. So um, I really like it, especially uh, because it doesn't have oil. I really, really, really hate makeup removers that are based on oil. Sorry guys, my hair is just annoying me right now. <laughs> but yeah, I really don't like uh, makeup remover based that have oil in it. So this one, uh, I love. It's just like using water really on your face to remove your makeup. Um, he removes pretty much everything except uh, mascara, like waterproof mascara. You have it has a little bit of harder time to remove uh, removing uh, makeup waterproof mascara. Sorry about that. But um, other than that, I really really like it. I do recommend it. I'm not too sure about the blue top on what it's supposed to do, but uh, this one is just you know removes makeup, cleanses and refreshes face and the uh, other thing that I love about this is you don't have to you technically don't have to wash your face after you use this you can just go to sleep and girl that's me <laughs> I am really sorry but that's me most of the time like 80% of the time I would just want to just go to sleep actually but um, with this I can just you know use a cotton pad just wipe my face and go to sleep and I wouldn't feel bad about it and especially especially because your face actually feels clean after you use this you know um when you use like makeup remover or even baby wipes I do use baby wipes uh to remove my makeup after you use those you still feel like your skin needs cl cleansing you know uh because well it still has makeup on but with this it feels like you just washed your face with toners um, with toner on top of it so it, it feels clean you know so I really really do like this next thing I'm gonna show you um, are my moisturizers right now I mean I still use my old one but um, this is you know uh, these are the moisturizers that um, are new I guess um, first one is the Garnier, uh, Garnier Skin Active Moisture Res Rescue um, when I use this, it's like my face just drank a gallon of water, you know, and it's like plump and it feels hydrated. Um, sometimes when I use like other gel moisturizer, it just feels like it's just staying on top of my skin. And because of that, my skin tends to be more oily to produce more oil because it feels like it's not you know hydrated enough so it needs more hydration that's why it produces more oil with this it doesn't do that and my skin actually feels good and uh, don't judge my skin right now because right now I have like the worst skin in the world right now I mean I have bumps here dry patches all over my t-zone area Ugh, my pores are huge I mean you just don't want to see it um <laughs> But yeah, you guys will see that in one of my videos um, because I put you really, really close to my face, so you'll see that. But anyways, I really, really love this. Um, this is for normal to combo skin, so which is good because that's exactly what I have. It's combo skin. I don't have normal skin. I have combo skin, and right now I have problem problem skin, <laughs> problematic skin. <laughs> I mean, I actually my husband is the one that. You know purchases these things for me I just sent him a picture a screenshot and he goes to Walmart and brings them because you know he works next to Walmart across from Walmart anyways and uh, the next thing I'm gonna talk to you is actually the nighttime version so this is the skin active um, I mean Garnier skin active um, ultra lift miracle sleeping cream so it says it's anti-fatigue night cream so that's pretty much what it's, it does. It's anti-fatigue, fatigue, but um, 
not even just that I mean like yes uh, the first night I ever wore it I was knocked out like <laughs> I was kind of scared that I wouldn't hear uh, my daughter <laughs> if she wakes up because I was knocked out but it does calm you like it has that scent it has like soothing scent it does calm you <laughs> so I really really like this also and um, it's kind of like bouncy Okay, I'm gonna show it to you guys. You see that? It's like bouncy and sticky. So oh, let me just wipe my hand. But yeah, I really, really like it. Um, it works wonders. Um, I don't really. S well, I mean, like yes, my skin does look like revi revi revitalized. Like you know awake in the morning after i use this so yeah but i'll let you know more if that if it does anything else um and let me show you how the the more the day one is it's like it's a gel pretty much so that's how it looks like and very little of these goes a long way you guys you don't need a lot at all like very very little goes a long way which is awesome because this pot is tiny i mean it's tiny okay the next next moisturizer I'm gonna show you guys um, is long love I've been using this for ever since I started YouTube really <laughs> um, this is the uh, Neutrogena rapid clear acne defense face lotion this is the oil free daily lotion this is the eight hour it visibly reduces breakouts uh, within eight hours. I actually do use this when I am planning on um, wearing makeup. So, for example, to today I did use this under my um, my uh, makeup because you guys, I learned my lesson the hard way because um, I used this under my makeup with a primer, and I went to one of my best friend's wedding, and yeah, I was a grease ball after like five hours and. I'm not supposed to be like that, especially because they know that I'm all about makeup and stuff. And uh, I mean, like they don't. I mean, people don't care. But um, yeah, you see on the overlay the picture. Like, wow, yeah. So, anyways, um, I don't recommend you, you uh, wearing this under your makeup. So that's why I use this. And this is always my rescue. Like, anytime, you know, my skin looks like there's a, like 10 breakouts about to pop out, this is what I use. Um, it actually, like, if I use like a general, um, generous amount of this, uh, it actually makes my skin feel like baby skin, like very, very soft. Like, um, I did that like a couple, um, couple days and then I'm just like, wow this is why i love this and this is a lotion so it's like a lotion texture um these ones are different this is gel and this is i don't know what this is this is more gel and lotion combined together i don't know but this is like more lotiony so um yeah that's that so if you guys have like you know problem problematic skin with acne and stuff i do recommend this one um yeah so moving on to makeup oh no one more um skin thing is actually my eye cream um i didn't use it lately but i've been using this more frequently and um that's what i see too when my um under eye path is a little bit smaller after like i use this because you know like you use eye cream and you massage it under your eyes and then it makes the under eye path smaller or disappear so this is the benton fermentation eye cream this come um, from my friend's Mimi box or she bought me one Mimi box for my birthday so yeah that's where I got it from but I mean obviously I'm gonna buy like a different eye cream after I finish this I don't know when I'm gonna finish this but after I finish this <laughs> um, I'll probably would start using eye cream under my makeup again and um, see how other makeup uh, reacts to it because um, the products I'm using right now is clinging onto my dry patches and it's just definitely not cool. Anyways, now moving on to makeup. I have four products to talk to you guys about and one of them would not be a surprise to you because I used it actually a couple times. I don't know if I filmed it but I used it like a couple times or three times. Um, it's my modern renaissance palette. Yes, I still keep the box. Yes, I'm that kind of person, especially with this because of the, the cover can get dirty very easily. So yes, guys, my modern renaissance palette is one of my favorites. Um, 
I used it on myself, I used it on my um, uh, best friend's sisters when I did their makeup. I mean, yeah, I trust this to perform well <laughs> on other people. So yeah, I got, that's one of my favorite. I mean, I will do like a full review on it, so that's why I don't want to talk too much about it. Next thing is actually my L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. I didn't really use it. I used it today for a video, but I didn't really use this as much anymore because, uh, well, I found my favorite mascara ever, which I'm gonna be talking about right after this. But um, if I'm not using that mascara, if I use different mascaras, I would use this, and this makes a total difference on like my my um, mascaras. Just look at it. <laughs> I used it today, and you can see my lashes. And I'm not wearing false lashes. So yeah, guys. <laughs> that's why I love this. And um, the next thing is my favorite mascara of all time. Um, which is funny because you guys know... Or if you used to watch my uh, my video for a while. My first favorite mascara was the uh, CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. The orange one. And then I liked my um, NYC Mascara. The Showtime. But this top all of them. This the mascara, the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise mascara. You need this in your life. Like, go get it. <laughs> like, especially if you have like small lashes, like short lashes, try this. It will make a difference. I promise you. Um, if you can't find this, find this and find a different mascara. Or find the other two that I mentioned earlier. <laughs> but find these. These are great. The next okay. thing, um, the last, actually, the last um, makeup item that I'm going to show you is my AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipstick in Drama. Guys, um, I've been using this a lot in my videos as well. Um, I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, this is another AOA studio that I'm wearing right now. This is in Lit and this is in Drama. Um, I just, I love this. I do, I, it's only a dollar and the consistency doesn't tell you like it's a dollar at all. Like, I would buy all of them. <laughs> I do recommend this a lot. Um, it, it's just amazing. I just don't feel like doing a swap, um, swatch right now, but I will do like a full review of their products soon so you guys would see that so stay tuned for that okay the next item that i'm gonna show you is um here this is actually um rediscovery because i haven't used it in a while and then um i used it a couple times lately i didn't use it today because i had it in the living room already but um i used it again last time i did my hair and then i'm like Wow, this is why about this. This is why I love this stuff. Like, this is why. This is why. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah, this is the uh, Mark and this is the Morocco oil argan oil treatment by Mark Anthony. I'm not too sure if this is the travel size or this is a regular size, but um, I love it. I would, I mean, it's this small, so I can bring it to travel, which I will be traveling very soon i'm excited about that but um, i mean it's, it's argan oil you guys argan oil is the best thing like a really good thing for your hair um i have dry hair um because i have naturally cur curly hair or wavy hair so um when you straighten it or even when it's you know just a new it's a regular state it's well it's dry so this really really helps with that um i tried a lot of different serums different you know even coconut oil um but the, i feel like this works better next item i'm going to show you is actually fashion stuff um i'm going to talk about my uh victoria's secret teas uh i guess the tea, this is a tease noir or this is just a tease wait let me smell <sighs> My gosh, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to listen if to my daughter. Anyways. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you have a Victoria's Secret near you, go there and try this. Okay? I don't know if you're going to see it. But yeah. 
Um, try it. Just try it. They have testers everywhere. Just try this Victoria's Secret teas. It's masky. It's sexy. It's like, okay, compared to Bombshell, the difference, Bombshell is more sweet. This one is more sexy, more provocative, more nighttime kind of perfume. I love this and as you can see i used it a lot already um i don't want to use it too much because i want to bring it to travel that's why i didn't finish it yet but i would have finished this <laughs> but yeah this is like this is like my current scent i wouldn't say like this is my scent like if you want to know how i smell like this would be my scent i didn't quite find that scent yet but i love this you guys i love this i love this i love this so much just go and try it, check it out. <laughs> Next thing, uh, our last thing actually is actually my choker. Um, this choker, I wore it in another video as well. Um, I will just show you guys the overlay because I'm too lazy to put this together. But this is um, just a red choker that you tie in the front like this. So you actually have to wear it to uh, for it to tie up because you cannot just you know <laughs> but yeah i really really love this i got this from wish actually and uh, the material the quality is just great you guys it's amazing amazing quality it's like it's not gonna break tomorrow type of thing um i don't know what kind of material this is but it's like a thick material i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell but i wow i just i love it i love it so much and it was free actually um i only paid for shipping and i got it for free off of wish and that happens a lot often now on wish um there are free things and you just pay for shipping it's more, and it's more addicting now because of that <laughs> anyways i'm trying to stop myself from buying so much things from there <laughs> yeah so that's pretty much all my favorites my current favorites you guys um uh, please let me know if you like this type of videos uh, and i can do them a little bit often than every once a year or so uh, <laughs> but i mean i cannot promise you that i'm gonna have a lot of favorites every month because i mean i'm trying a lot of new products but they might not be my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching that video, guys. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you guys did like it. Also, don't forget to click on my round face right here to subscribe. That will mean a lot to me. And here's the next video.